In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to go full screen on your Chromebook so that whatever you're doing takes up the entire screen. And this is usually fairly simple, but there can be a few different things you'll have to do depending on what app you're using. If you're using a website in Google Chrome, this is really quite easy. So if you're in Google Chrome here and you've got a website open, you'll have these three icons in the top right hand corner. And if you click on the middle one here, it will expand the Chrome window to take up most of your screen. But as you can see, you'll still have your shelf down here with all your apps and notifications and things. And you still have this top bit up here. So it's taking up most of the screen, but it's not technically full screen. To make the entire website full screen and covering your entire screen, you'll actually just need to press a special key on your Chromebook's keyboard. So if you look at your Chromebook keyboard and you look at the top row up here, there'll be this icon here where it's a rectangle with the two arrows in the different corners. And that is the full screen key. So if you just press that while you're in any app, as you can see now, it's made the entire website full screen. So you can't see your Chrome tabs or your Chrome address bar or extensions or anything like that. And you can't see your apps and stuff on your shelf at the bottom of the screen. Everything on the screen is just the website. So you can scroll around and use the website and you can click to different pages and everything if you want. And it'll all work just like that, but in full screen. And if you want to switch tabs, so you want to switch from this tab to a different tab, it's really very simple. You actually have two options, but one option is to move your mouse cursor all the way to the top of the screen like that and hold it there for a second. And then this normal Chrome bar will pop up here. So this is all of your normal Chrome stuff with the tabs and address bar and everything. So now you could click in here and type a different address or you could open up a new tab and go to a different, that was the same website. You could open up a new tab and go to Google Docs or something if you want. So you could go to a different website like that. And now you'll be using that other website in full screen mode, just like that. Or you can go back up and switch back to the other tab. And when you switch tabs, you can just move your mouse back down like that. And then you'll be back into fully full screen mode. Or the other way you could switch tabs is just press the full screen key again to get out of full screen mode. And then switch tabs like you normally would. And when you're on the other tab, press the full screen key again. And now you'll be back in full screen on that other tab. So that's really cool. And that's all there is to using full screen mode on a website on Google Chrome. And when you're done with it and you don't want to use full screen mode anymore, as you probably saw before, you just press this key and it's back to normal. So that's full screen mode in Google Chrome. And if you're using another normal Chrome app, like the Files app or the Settings app, or any app you've installed from the Chrome Web Store, or certain Android apps, or anything like that, it's really fairly similar. It just doesn't have the tabs involved. So if we minimize Google Chrome to get that out of the way, if we were to open up the Files app, for example, it really works pretty much the same way. You can click on the middle button here to make it take up most of the screen. And then you can press that full screen key again. And now it will be fully in full screen mode. But the difference between Google Chrome 
and these other apps is when you use full screen mode in Google Chrome, it's kind of more like the website is full screen, not the entire Chrome app. Whereas in these other apps, it's the entire app is full screen. So where in Google Chrome, it hid the top Chrome bar with all your tabs and stuff. In other apps like this, you really have absolutely all of the controls and buttons and everything that you normally would have in the app. So as you can see here, we've got the files app in full screen and we can see absolutely everything that we would normally have in the files app, but we don't have the little strip across the top with the three buttons to close or change the size or minimize it. And we don't have the strip across the bottom with the time and notifications and different apps to click on and things like that. So that's all there is to that. You can now use that app in full screen mode. And when you're done, just press the full screen key again. And if you want the app to be even smaller, you can click this button again and shrink it back to how you had it before. So that's how it works for most apps, but with quite a lot of other Android apps that you install from the Google Play Store, there will be one extra step you have to do. When you open certain Android apps, like for example, if we click the app launcher icon, and click Firefox to open up the Firefox app, you might notice that the app window is stuck in this shape of either a tablet or a smartphone. And if you look up at the top bar of the app, it will either be set to tablet or it'll say smartphone there. So it's kind of stuck being the shape and size of either a smartphone or a tablet because most of these apps were only designed to be used on smartphones or tablets, not Chromebooks. So if you make it take up the entire screen, some of the layout might be a bit weird and some of them might not work quite right, but they really mostly work quite okay. So if you want to give it a go and try using full screen mode in these apps, all you need to do is come up to this top bar and click on this drop down arrow where it says tablet or phone. And in this menu that appears here, change it to resizable. So we have phone, tablet, and resizable. We'll make it resizable. And you'll get this little warning message warning you that the app isn't really designed to be resized. It's not ever really a big problem. It's just, it might be a bit weird. So it's warning you about that. If you never want to see this message again in this app, you can actually tick this box and it will never show up again. And then just go ahead and click allow. And now the app is really just like any normal app. So we'll now have these three normal buttons here. So you can click this middle one and it will make the app take up most of the screen. And if we press the full screen key on the keyboard, the app will now be completely full screen. So now you can do whatever you want with the app in full screen mode. And as you can see, there are a few little things that make it look like the layout is a bit weird because it's not really designed to be this wide on a screen this big, but it really works totally fine. You can click in here and you can search for stuff and do whatever you would do in the app. And then just like any other app, once you're done with full screen mode, you can press on the full screen key to get out of full screen mode. And then if you don't like it being this big, you can click that middle button again to make it go back to that size. And if the layout really didn't work being really wide, you could also click on resizable here and change it back to phone or tablet if you want. And that way it will be just like it was when you opened it, where it's locked to this specific shape and it can't be resized. But 
Regardless of what app you're using full screen mode in, while you're using full screen mode, if you ever want to check the time or check how much battery you have left or check your notifications or something, all you need to do is move your mouse all the way down to the bottom of the screen and this normal shelf will appear. So you can see your time and date and you can click here and you can see more details about your Wi-Fi and things and how much battery you have. And if you click here, you can see your notifications and everything like that. And then when you're done with checking that, you can just move your mouse back up and the bottom bar will disappear and you'll be back to fully full screen. So that's really all there is to full screen mode. But the only thing Timmy hasn't covered is full screen videos because the full screen key on your keyboard usually doesn't work with videos. So if you're watching a video on YouTube, for example, in Google Chrome, as you'll notice, if you press the full screen key on your keyboard, it's just going to make the entire YouTube website full screen. It's not actually going to make the video full screen. So instead of doing that, you'll actually just need to click on this full screen button in the bottom right hand corner of the video. If the video is playing and your mouse isn't on it, you might not see that button, but you just need to move your mouse over the video and there should be a button here. If you're not on YouTube, if you're on something else, the button might look a bit different, but it'll generally be in the very bottom right hand corner. So you can probably just click right there. And now the video will be in full screen. So now the video is taking up the entire screen on your Chromebook and you can't see anything else. And then when you're done with watching the video in full screen and you just want to go back to normal, there's quite a few options. You can either press the escape key or the full screen key and either of those will usually work to take you out of full screen mode. Or if you're watching your video here, you can just hover your mouse over the screen to bring up all the icons and click the exit full screen button there and it will go back to normal that way. And that's all there is to it. Those are all the different ways that you can go full screen on your Chromebook so that whatever you're doing will take up the entire screen. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil will see you in the next one.